Hello everyone and welcome back to Swiftly Shivali. Today we will cover enums for beginners. This video will be part of my Swift for Beginners playlist. I will link it in the description below as well as add an iCard to the upper right hand corner of this video. If you're new to my channel, I'm an iOS software engineer in Silicon Valley. I created my YouTube channel while the world is under lockdown due to COVID-19. This pandemic has impacted my life in more ways than one, but I'm very thankful that I have the skills to continue working from home and securing my source of income through my coding skills. I've heard of so many businesses closing down and people being laid off, which is forcing people to pivot into different fields. I applaud you all for learning a new skill during these challenging times. We have all been sitting in our homes for far too long and I, for one, cannot wait to get back out there. So in the spirit of COVID-19, let's start by planning a dream trip to the Bahamas. I'm going to create a simple function that will help me pack my bag that, will take, that I will take with me to the Bahamas as soon as this crisis is over. Through this example, we will explore why enums are important in the Swift programming language, as well as the different use cases um, that we will encounter. So let's start by creating a simple function called pack my bag. It's going to take in an item of type string and all it's going to do is update this global variable called bag which is an array of strings. So over here at pack my bag, all we're going to do right now is say bag dot append item. So let's try this out. In my bag to the Bahamas, I want to start packing with let's say um, a t-shirt I will take some shorts I will take my toothbrush let's just start with these items for now um, and then we'll just have our variable bag right here and see if our function works so on line 15, I see bag contains a t-shirt, shorts, and toothbrush. However, I don't plan on going for just one day. Let's say I want to go um, on my trip for three days. So over here, um, I will say I need a t-shirt times three. I want to pack three of them in my bag. I want to pack three shorts and I don't need three different toothbrushes for a single trip so this one should just be times one. So how can I edit my function to do this? One thing I can do and say if item is equal to t-shirt then bag well, first I'm going to create an array of shirts like this. I'll just say array and then use the repeating parameter, repeat this item three times. And then I'll say bag dot append contents of shirts. And then if it's not a shirt, All I'm going to do is append the remainder of the items. So let's just do it for a t-shirt right now. My program should run because I have my playground set to automatic here, automatically run. But what happens on line 21? My bag still only has one t-shirt. Why is this? What mistake did I make? So if I come back to line 9, I see that I mistyped t-shirt I have an error so let's go ahead and fix this t-shirt 
it's appended three times, that's exactly what I want. Now I could do the same thing for shorts. Hopefully I don't mess up here and um, hopefully my bag will be packed correctly. Um, oh, instead of ensuring that my strings are typed out precisely and correctly all over my code base and checking for the strings, what I could do is use an enum. So I'm going to go ahead and create an enum called travel items and create different cases for them. So I want to have case t-shirt and case shorts case toothbrush. So over here I have my enum. Now what I can do is have my function pack my bags take in the enum instead of a string. This as we discussed before prevents errors like um, uh, mistakes in typing. Also if somebody wants to suppose pack a whole entire car and take it in my bag that's not allowed and how would I check for this? I could go ahead and do if item equals t-shirt, if item equals shorts, if item equals um, toothbrush then append them in my bag and then everything else I can say return an error or something. However in order to check for these types of errors where somebody is incorrectly using my function with string there's an endless possibility of incorrect options that we could input into our function. With an enum we would essentially be restricting the valid input choices to only be those of travel items. So let's go ahead and use this in an example. So I'm going to go ahead and replace T the string width of type travel items. My bag cannot contain any string now, it will just be uh, an array of travel items. And then over here, I'll get these errors saying that I need to convert type string to have these travel items. So that's not a problem. I will just say travel items dot t-shirt. Then I can also say, I don't have to type out travel items dot shorts. I can just do dot shorts because Swift already knows the type has to be of travel items. And so because it takes in an enum, it knows exactly which cases are allowed. So that's great. So even in this case, um, we can just go ahead and use this shorthand form and then just do dot that case, in this case it is dot t-shirt, dot shorts, then I'll have dot toothbrush. So if somebody wanted to come in here and input like a car, I'm, Swift is going to catch that and say that there's no member called car. You can't put a car in your bag. So over here I have dot toothbrush. That's great. Now how do I check for these items? I could say if item is equal to dot t-shirt then have that same code. Let's see if this works. Let's run our code and there we go. I have three t-shirts, short and car. So I also, one of my requirements that is that I need to take three shorts. So what can I do? I can say if item equals t-shirt or if item is equal to dot shorts, then do this. Um, but let's see, let's say I add another travel item into my list. Let's say I add my, um, my flat iron. So I add my flat iron and what happens in this case? It's going to fall in this else case, and the flat iron uh, will be included into my bag. So that's great. 
typically people will not use if else statements when they have an enum because we have a much more powerful tool which um, is switch statements. So this would be equivalent to writing a switch statement such as switch on item and Xcode will show me um, a fix me which will add in the missing cases. So it will say switch on item and then for each case I can add in the code that I want. So let's say for a t-shirt I want to pack three of them. I'm going to go ahead and add this code here. So for a t-shirt pack three of them. Same thing for shorts. I want to pack three of them. And then for toothbrush <clears throat> and flat iron, I will only pack one of them. And so I'll just paste this in here. And add this. So what a switch statement does is basically it switches on the enum and I'm able to iterate through each of the cases this way. It's a simple shorthand. I don't have to do all of this Boolean logic, ors, and ands. I can just go case by case. Um, what happens if I add another case now? Suppose I want to take some shoes and I want to take two different pairs of shoes because the Bahamas all need sandals and I'll need some sneakers for sightseeing. So Xcode will give me this error that a new case has been added. Switch must be exhaustive. So I can go ahead and add a missing case here and I will add in shoes. Uh, I can do this same thing like this and add it in and then make the shoes and change the value to two here in the count. Um, and then let's say that I want to take something else with me. I've got t-shirts, I've got shorts, I've got toothbrush flat iron, shoes, I need to take my makeup kit. And so I should see one more statement, but let's say I'm adding so many different travel items and the default for most of them should be one. What I will do is just create a default case here. So I'm gonna move this to the bottom, this case, and then Instead of listing out all of the cases that need one, I have the ability to just say default. Oops. Okay, over here. So the default is just to append one item. So let's get rid of this code and then check out our bag. I'm going to pack my, coat, my bag with makeup. That should go in the default statement um, down here. And so makeup should only be added one time. So I have t-shirt times three, shorts times three, toothbrush, flat iron, makeup. I forgot to add my shoes. Let's add that real quick. I have my shoes, I have all of these different cases. So you can see how powerful enums are in restricting what kind of parameter your functions or your classes can take in. Um, it really limits the scope to what you have defined in your enum. Somebody cannot come into my, um, my bag and say that they want to add the car or they want to add only one shoe, not the, not the pair. 
it's going to say that travel items has no member of shoe. You're going to see an error this way. So this was my short introduction to enums. I hope this makes sense to you and you're able to see the power that enums have as well as using switch statements. Let me know if there's any confusion and I hope you guys are staying safe during this COVID-19 crazy pandemic that we're encountering. Let me know in the comments below. If this video was of use to you, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm more than happy to create content um, for anybody who wants to learn iOS development and Swift. I have two different playlists, one, one about Xcode tips and tricks and the other one about Swift basics. And so uh, see you in the next video.